Alright everybody, I found a Sprint, I think this is genuinely Sprint 5G, because I have to be like right next to the tower to get it, and then once I leave the tower, it's not low band T-Mobile, but it's band 41, so it's definitely Sprint, um, and I think it's their Sprint 5G. Surprisingly, I don't know where this 5G is coming from, but it's right here, and I found a good spot to do some speed tests, so... Let's go ahead and do it. Pound. Okay, so we are on band 41. So I don't know if they're lying and saying it's band 41. I don't actually know if it's real 5G or not, but my phone's getting hot again. So uh, it, it, it says LTE was Sprint, but it has a 5G logo. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's it's, it's glitched a little bit. I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but let's do some speed tests here. This isn't T-Mobile. I thought it would be T-Mobile, but it's not. So I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, because, I mean, we're almost getting 10 megabit upload or, you know, 7 to, I don't know, 6 megabit upload speed on their fake 5G or whatever. I, I don't even think this is 5G. I think this is like LTE Advance or something, but... Um, it's showing the 5G logo, so I'm kind of confused, um, why it would show the 5G logo. If anybody would like to explain why it's showing the 5G logo, but it's not only giving me about 200 megabits a second, which is really fast for Sprint. Um, I actually think that's pretty impressive, but their upload speed is abysmal as usual. But no, it, it shows band 41, but it shows a 5G icon. Which confuses me because everywhere else I go, it doesn't show that that icon at all. So I'm kind of confused on why they would even show the 5G icon if it's not uh, Sprint mid-band 5G. And why is it even in this area? And it's not even supposed to be in this area, but I mean 190 is not bad. 200 megabits I think is not bad for Sprint. It's just their upload speeds, they're not even close to their download speeds. If it was like 50 megabit upload, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's good. But like I said, if anybody can explain why at this particular spot that 5G is available and then they get, you know, close to 100 plus megabits down, I think it's just LTE plus in my opinion, but it's not. And besides, this is during the daytime. This is not at night, by the way. It's 11.41 a.m. And we're getting 200 megabits. That's pretty good for Sprint. Not going to lie. So if anybody wants to explain this, I would be more than happy. Or I would like to know why the hell I'm getting Sprint 5G in an area where the Sprint maps don't even show 5G. And they don't have any 5G supposedly in this area. So we'll go ahead and do another Sprint speed test on the Sprint network to the Sprint speed test server. Oh. And then there was a point where the speed test app said it was 5G. So I, I don't know what what's the truth at this point. I don't even know. If this is just like an, an anomaly or, or what's going on. And 7 megabit upload speed, which is pretty fast for Sprint's upload. I, I think they could have done a better job with that upload speed. I really do. But no, this is this is Sprint 5G here. And just for fun, we'll uh, switch it over to... We'll switch it over to T-Mobile. We'll just... We'll just... Oh, oh, I got rid of that 5G. Oh, wait, no. It still kicked in. Oh, wait, goodbye, 5G. Is it going to stay there? Wait, what's going on here? So this is, this is, uh, <laughs> bye. Oh, it went the roaming icon for a second there. All right, now we're connected to T-Mobile. To uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, now we're connected to, well, T-Mobile has five bars here too. I'm so confused. Man, they're really strict with that five megabit throttle though. They are really strict with that 5 megabit throttle. Jesus Christ, they're down to the freaking kilobyte. They really don't want you to hit 5 megabits, even with full bars. Wow, that's impressive, though. Man, thank you guys for watching.